Linda Batterson. Linda is one of the two voices of the city of Bloomington. When the phone rings here, that's who people hear when they call asking questions. So Linda uh, has a job share with uh, Marie, is the other uh, receptionist here at the city of Bloomington. You've been doing this for about three years. About three years. Okay, so um, how long did it take you before you were comfortable knowing everything about the city of Bloomington there is to know? Oh my goodness. I would have to say that at least took about six months. Okay. Um, the first week or so we were sitting here being trained and then after that you're kind of on the, on the phones but you learn as you go. So uh, you have a pretty uh, cool setup here, right? So the phone rings, you've got everybody in the city is on your computer. Uh, how long does it usually take you to figure out what people are looking for? Um, it depends on the phone call and it depends on the information they give us. Sometimes it's quick and they just want to know if we do passports, mm -hmm. so they'll, I'll transfer them back there. Sometimes it takes a little more information. I would say anywhere from about a half a minute to a couple minutes. Okay. How many calls a day, or in a year maybe? Well, it averages about 36,000. 36,000 calls come into the info booth here. Wow. What's one of the more unique phone calls you've had to handle? Well, we've had everything from, I would say, some of the animals that are in the city, everything from coyotes or eagles swooping down on people, to all the way up to road construction, or sure. maybe your mailbox was taken out by the snowplow, things of that nature, and then all the way to needing a passport or needing any uh, government information. So uh, in the course of sitting here, you also get to talk to a lot of people coming by. Um, what, what aspect of the job do you like most, talking to people on the phone or talking to the passerby? I would say it's the variety of work. Um, I love, I think the base part of it is helping. So Linda and Lori have convinced me it's a good idea to maybe try out this uh, info booth thing and see how I do answering calls from some of our residents. Good afternoon, City of Bloomington. How may I help you? Sure, we can certainly connect you with them. That'll be in our Public Works Department. So I was actually going to say something. Yes. But I decided not to. Go ahead. I know her. Sweet lady, and I met her through the fact that she's called a great citizen. So I've gotten to kind of know her, and in fact, she claims that I've helped her so much that one day she brought me flowers. Wow. Wow. Ah, here comes a call. Good afternoon, City of Bloomington. How may I help you? Yes. Is this the City of Bloomington? It is. Oh, okay. I, I took my kids to the batting cages at Dred Scott Park on Monday. You did? Yeah, and there were no bats. What happened to all the bats? That is a good question. Can I forward you on to our Parks and Recreation Division? and they be able, be able to help you? Sure. Okay. Thank you. One moment, please. So that person was down at our batting cages at Dred Scott, and there weren't any bats there. So he's wondering why. And I can't answer that question, but somebody can, and I bet they're in our Parks and Rec. I was just at a batting cage last night with my son. We had to bring our own bat. Uh-oh. This bit. is the same person calling back. So, City of Bloomington, may I help you? Yes, I called just a second ago, and I don't know if it was you I spoke to, but they transferred me to Parks and Rec. Yes. Uh, I had a question about uh, the bats at the batting right. cages, and they just put me on hold. And yes, I, I distinctly read in the paper that there are fruit bats at the Dred Scott batting cages. When can we go see them? So, uh, they put you on hold when you when you transferred over there. Is there um, is there a number we can yeah. call you back at so I can make sure that we have the right person? I'm in my car now. C can you just look it up? I mean, we brought some uh, fresh fruit. My kids brought some fresh fruit to feed the bats. And uh, what are we supposed to do with that fruit now? It does sound familiar. <laughs> I was with you, Jim, until the point where he told me that you had fresh fruit for the bats at the batting cage. <laughs> that was that uh -huh. was clever. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Bye. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> well, I certainly got an education in learning how to operate the info booth here. Hopefully you've learned as much as I have watching this issue of the Verbrugge Vlog. We'll see you next time. <laughs>